What's up, y'all? All right. So today I am, oh man, going to do um, a review on this juicer. Sorry, I, I was trying to record on something else, but it just didn't work. So I'm doing it on my phone. No, sorry, Tamara. All right. So what we're gonna talk about today is this Reveal Juice Fountain Cold. Okay. So I purchased this. Well, this was purchased at Best Buy. So this wasn't purchased on the website. I actually went to the Best Buy um, that's near me, Peachtree City Best Buy, and purchased this. Now they had other um, other ones, but I decided. What caught my eye is when this said the juice fountain cold. So I was like, ooh, okay, so my juice is gonna be a little cold. So that's good. And then it says juice up to twice the amount of nutrient rich juice and fresh another time. Which is it is true because it do be juicing, but we're gonna talk about you know what else. Juice more, stores more, and cleans less. I don't know about that, but... Okay. So, on the back. It tells you... As cold as a cold press. So, it's basically telling you that... I don't like high speed blenders that can take up to a minute to create a smoothie. Reveals cold spin technology creates juice in just a fresh another second. The cold spin technology juice is filtered through an Italian made precision mesh filter to ensure the temperature increase. And fat juice is extracted as cold as cold press. Okay, so why would you name it Fountain Cold when it's not cold? It doesn't make, this is what kind of, it don't, it don't make your juice cold. Like if you have your, your if you juice in, um, if you have your fruits and stuff, vegetables in the refrigerator and you juice them and it comes cold. Okay, but that temperature is not coming from room temperature fruits and vegetables is not no no so that was a con for me that's what and then I felt like I was wasting fruits and vegetables because at the end I put a plastic bag in here well I haven't used this in a while but just it'd be an easy cleanup Sorry, the sun. And it'd be so moist. It, and it'd be a lot. It's like it's juicing so, it's, it's chopping down so fast. It's not really, it's getting the juice because when you want to juice, you adding more. You put in a lot of uh, kale, spinach, cucumbers, whatever you want to juice. So you just put it in there and it's just like, it's just like a garbage disposer. It's not really taking its time to give you the juice so as you juicing the juice doesn't look it looks totally different from like I purchased another juicer and it wasn't as fast as this which I like because the juice actually looks like juice and at the end the pup wasn't as moist. I didn't feel like I was wasting, you know, 
whatever I was juicing. So, y'all, you know, I just don't like this juicer. I, I have also, I had also contacted the customer service. I don't remember exactly what he said, but I do remember, you know how you contact the corporate of whatever company and the results make you feel like, feel happy and they make you feel, you know, like a, they make you feel important, you know, like, thanks for, you know, contacting us and I do what I can. So then you feel happy because they doing, you know, they making you happy. So with this company, I was just upset. Like, I felt like they didn't even care about how I felt about this purchase. Okay, now this wasn't a cheap juicer. Okay, this was over $300. So if you're spending a, over if you spend over three hundred dollars for a juicer and you contact the customer support, something needs to be done. And the fact that I just didn't feel appreciated or valued or how I felt about the product, you know, I I won't be buying it again. I just won't. It's like they don't even care. They just market something, and, and if somebody have an issue, they don't care, then, you know, y'all need to know. Everybody needs to know about it. So that's how I felt about this. I mean, the cleanup, I had already... Um, broke it down so the clean I mean this is how it look so I already kind of broke it down so you have to take this out you see that's that's that I guess so called cool spin and you just have to be careful because there is a blade in there there's a sharp blade in there right there that blade in the middle I'm trying to put it together see this is how it looks and I haven't used this in a while so If you haven't, and, th and this is another thing, this has been clean. Hold on, Pooh Bear. This has been clean, but if you don't use this in a while, it gives off a dingy look. Look at this. This has been clean, but I haven't been using this in months. This is so terrible. For, for how much, again, I'm, I paid for this product, if I have not used it and if it has been clean, it should still look clean and new. So, y'all, um, this is little pusher thing okay the, like I said the cleanup you, you're gonna if you juice a lot you're gonna it's gonna be about 10 minutes because you need to make sure that all the parts and everything is clean all the parts is clean that there's no um, carrots or uh, kale, um, leafy, you know, the leafy vegetables that would just get stuck in there. So it's going to be a while. 
it's going to because you got to make sure all that stuff is clean um yeah so this was this was my my first juicer and i was happy when i got it so again you don't know just like a relationship is it's good at first but until you actually really get into it then you can see if you really like it or not so this relationship that i had with this juicer you know probably a couple weeks into it i just started to see the bad things about it but um and i waited till i had more money to upgrade sorry y'all and once i upgraded i definitely taste the difference in the juice okay so it's okay juicer it's it's, it's to me it's not worth the price that I paid uh, I believe that the customer service could have been better um, and again it's just it it's juice it juices too fast so you're not gonna get that dry or close to dry pup that's gonna be left Okay, so if you decide to buy this juicer, okay, I'm not knocking. If you just, I'm just letting you know how it is. If you decide to buy this juicer, don't expect the juice to be cold. Don't expect to be cold like the water fountain because it's not going to be cold. Sometimes, you know, the water fountains be warm, <laughs> you know. Um, and then don't expect the pup from your vegetables and fruits to be dry. Because I'm already letting you know, it's not going to be. And do expect to have a lot. If you're juicing a lot, expect that container to be full and to be, and when you get the bag out and you squeeze it, it's going to be really moist. So I'm just heads up, y'all. Heads up. Uh, if you want something better, um, You want something better? Just kind of save, save the five, four hundred dollars, save it to add an additional two hundred to get uh, another brand. And we'll talk about the other brand. I, I do that review on the other brand in another video. Okay, y'all. So, you know, this is just my opinion and what I been through because again, I have it. So. I'm not just up here just lying about it. I actually have the product. You know, and I actually juice several times. And I actually call the customer service. So, but anyway, y'all, that's my take on this Breville, Breville, the Juice Fountain Cold. Okay? So, if you have one, um... Tell me about it. Leave your positive vibes. Just tell me about it down below, y'all. Okay? So, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please do so. So, if you like the information that I gave you and I shared with you, hit the thumbs button. That will make me so happy. Um, please like. If Again, like, share. Please leave a comment below. Tell all your friends. Y'all, please support the channel. I'm telling y'all, because this information, I'm pretty sure you would use it or at least share it with someone that, you know, will um, need it. We all want to be happy. We all want to be happy, um, healthy. Everybody needs to be happy. Okay, y'all? So, to next time, I will see you later. Peace.